We're going to have a look at uh, Lodo Industries OSC 2002. It's at the uh, top end of their oscilloscope lineup. Here's a quick look at the specs. It's a two channel uh, plus or minus uh, 5 volt uh, input. It's got a 50 megahertz bandwidth, 1 giga sample per second uh, sample rate. Fairly deep uh, memory buffer, uh, 64K and up to 2 million sample points at lower uh, sample rates. All right, let's get into it. I've got the uh, Lodo uh, OSC 2002 with the BNCs uh, open-ended, high-res mode. Um, have a look at how rock steady the signal is about the zero line. That calibration was out of the box. I haven't done anything and um, there's very little movement um, noise on either side of the zero volt line. I assure you it's not all budget oscilloscopes that do this. So next I want to talk about the uh, deep memory that the OSC uh, 2002 has, that uh, memory buffer. It can be uh, you know like 64,000 up to 2 million sample points depending on the sample rate being used. I've got a random uh, noise waveform here at 1 kilohertz. Let's uh, start the device. And uh, you can see that the uh, buffer is uh, being loaded. All right. So stop the device. And uh, when you look at it here, there's about 5 seconds of recording time in that buffer and um, it allows us to uh, scroll through it like so. That's a very interesting and very useful um, capability uh, like that. Let's talk about that one giga sample uh, per second rate. Uh, that's not per channel, that's uh, divided across five channels. Now uh, the, the math doesn't add up right, uh, two channels. Actually um, all of the LOTO oscilloscopes sport this uh, DB15 expansion uh, port. And um, one of the expansion modules available for this is this logic analyzer. So that's four channels. And when you're using that, you're also able to use channel A, so five channels at once. They divide that one giga sample, so you have 200 million samples per channel. If we start the device and we take a look and we go into logic analyzer mode, you'll see those uh, four logic analyzer channels at the bottom of the screen. I'm going to try to explain this in layman's terms, similar to when I was uh, I did a video on the uh, Fast Fourier Transform, which by the way, uh, this software has. Here, we'll put that into Fast Fourier Transform. You can see that it has the capability of FFT. Okay. So, uh, logic uh, analyzing is basically uh, taking uh, the waveform and uh, cutoffs at the high and at the low, and uh, these would be interpreted as a, a zero and a one, uh, on, off. All right, so you'd end up uh, with a, a signal similar to this where it's a square wave. It's either at zero or at one, uh, depending on what the parameters were on the cutoff points, right? So uh, the software here has the ability to go um, I squared C uh, format, which uh, I know squat about, or uh, UART serial, which I'm a little more familiar with. So you would uh, set the parameters for decoding and this software and this hardware with the logic analyzer module would be able to decode a UART serial interface. Okay, cool. All this segues into an upcoming video that I want to make where we're going to be discussing the two worlds. The one of the electronics lab, high frequency electronic circuit uh, type of work and the other uh, automotive where um, you're doing the best you can uh, under a hood of a car engine running trying to capture a waveform at low frequencies 
the wants and the demands of those two worlds are very different. Um, we're going to be exploring that. There is one thing that straddles both worlds, and that's uh, the canvas. So we're going to go in the garage and we're going to see what a higher-end oscilloscope can do uh, in scoping a canvas. Let's go out there. You guys know the drill by now. There's a breakout box at the DLC. Pin number 6, can high, is on channel A. Pin number 14, can low, is on channel B. Let's start the device. Turn the key on. Wake up the CAN bus. There you go. We're scoping this at uh, 100 mega samples per second. At that sample rate, the uh, OSC 2002 has a 64K per channel buffer. Pretty nice. So, you know it's not my style to give you a camera on screen uh, kind of a shot. So uh, the way I'm going to end the video is um, I'm going to give you screenshots of uh, the best foot uh, forward of the OSC 2002 using the uh, Windows software, the manufacturer's Windows software. I will give you a screenshot of the CAN bus being done with the OSC 482 using uh, 8 scope in the automotive mode and then I'll also provide a screenshot so that we're comparing apples with apples of the OSC 482 in the manufacturer's windows mode. This way you can peruse all three and uh, judge for yourself as to uh, what the extra sample rate and the extra bandwidth uh, can add to the uh, CAN bus uh, uh, scope, uh, you know, quality. I can tell you that uh, from a uh, automotive standpoint, if you're just out there to uh, do some diagnosis and you're trying to see if uh, the CAN bus is healthy and within parameters, any of those three would do the trick. But if you know, someone was uh, looking at it in more detail, maybe even trying to get to the point where he's decoding it, then uh, you know the extra quality is uh, what that person would be uh, shooting for. So enjoy, and uh, we'll catch you guys later.